Hi everyone. In today's Soaring Sounds Technique video, I want to discuss something that nearly derailed my junior recital and made me consider quitting singing altogether. I had scheduled my concert in March for one week after spring break, thinking that I'd be well rested and focused in the week leading up to my performance. What I did not expect is the increasing vocal fatigue I felt every time I sang in late February. By early March, I was done singing after five minutes of vocalizing. My throat was on fire. I was mouthing words in chorus. I was ending my voice lessons 15 minutes early. Cold bottled water seemed to offer some temporary relief, but nothing gave me a lasting break from that dry, burning, searing feeling every time I sustained tone for more than a few minutes. I wasn't even experiencing heartburn. My symptoms weren't any worse in the morning. I was eating a balanced diet. I was in the best shape of my life, getting a solid seven hours of sleep a night and drinking plenty of water and almost no coffee. The week before spring break, my recital fully memorized I went on multi-day vocal rest where I communicated exclusively with pen and paper. The local ENT wouldn't even fit me in for months, but I managed to get an appointment in my hometown over spring break to get scoped. I was sure there was some pathology I was facing, nodules, polyps, paralysis, just something to explain the, the feeling I was having in my throat every single time I sang, but the doc was really clear. There were no nodules or any pathology, not even any thickness. It was just really red. The doctor said I was facing a killer case of acid reflux. He gave me a prescription for a proton pump inhibitor and then gave me no other advice other than to take it regularly. To make a long story short, after an even more desperate week-long vocal rest before my recital, I managed to get through a rather lackluster vocal performance where I just felt hamstrung the whole time. You can only imagine how this affected my nerves and my vocal habits. It was over a decade before I developed any control over my reflux symptoms. And I've tried nearly everything at this point. Acid reflux can be a real stumbling block for even the most talented performers. Late night performances and after parties can make this even more difficult to cope with, and it can be debilitating to sing on vocal cords that are swollen and inflamed from being burned with acid every single night. So let's dive in and discuss why reflux might happen and how to mitigate acid reflux for singers. Why reflux happens. There's no definitive proven cause for reflux, which makes this even more difficult to pin down. I've read several interesting articles which suggest that either too much stomach acid or maybe too little stomach acid may be to blame. The too little stomach acid theory is why proton pump inhibitors might have made things a little better, but never really resolved the problem. Because of the PPI, like Prilosec or Nexium, I was still producing too little acid, and that was still causing me acid reflux symptoms. What you can do about it. There are several common sense treatments that I found through research, trial, and error. One of them is to sleep on your left side. If you sleep on your left side physiologically, this makes it more difficult for acid to come up your esophagus. A second way you can do this is keep a food diary. Log what you eat and when you eat, and then log how you feel after you eat it. Check back in about every two weeks. For me, this was an absolute game changer when I realized after reading my food diary that I felt great after eating buffalo wings and terrible after eating bananas. A third thing you can do is try drinking one ounce of apple cider vinegar. If your symptoms lessen in the next day, then you're creating too little acid, and that might be causing your reflux. If they get worse after drinking the cider vinegar, then too much acid is causing your reflux. Note that there's bound to be some discomfort if you directly drink some acid into a swollen esophagus. So if you have reflux and you drink some acid, you're probably gonna be immediately uncomfortable. Give yourself at least a day to figure out how this treatment has affected you. If the taste is troubling, mix the vinegar with a glass of water, or if you can't stand apple cider vinegar, you could try lemon instead of vinegar. 
A fourth thing you can do is try introducing more probiotic foods into your diet. These include yogurt, miso, kombucha, kefir, and even kimchi. And they can help make your digestion more efficient and you may experience less reflux as a result. Before I went vegan, when I have an absolutely terrible reflux attack, I would swear by drinking a bottle of unsweetened kefir, which is kind of like yogurt, but it's more heavily fermented and has more cultures in it. Drinking unsweetened kefir would just completely eliminate my symptoms, and usually they wouldn't come back. So if you're experiencing heavy reflux and you can drink dairy, I recommend trying some unsweetened kefir. A fifth thing you can do is you can cut down on the animal products and the coffee. Now, I'm not a doctor, and this is not a cure-all, but when I went vegetarian, 90% of my reflux symptoms just disappeared. It's not going to give your swollen vocal cords a rest to go on and consume foods that are proven to cause inflammation. I'm not saying that you have to completely give up meat, or completely give up cheese, or completely give up coffee but maybe consuming those less frequently may have an impact on how you feel. And if you keep a food diary, then you can log those feelings that you're experiencing. Here are the things I found that absolutely didn't work for me. Again, this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor. They might work great for you, but for me, these did not make my reflux better. Medication. Everything from an acids to H2 blockers to proton pump inhibitors did almost nothing to fix my underlying problem. In most cases, my symptoms of reflux got worse hours to days after taking the meds. And these can get pricey. For a while, I was paying $300 per month for a prescription of Nexium. If you need to take something medicinal, I suggest taking unsweetened licorice tablets or making yourself slippery elm tea. Those are very medicinal and they may improve your reflux symptoms. The second thing that did not work for me was not eating after 6 p.m. For me, sustained periods of not eating made my reflux symptoms worse. When I would go to bed, silently refluxing, of course, I would wake up with my throat burning. Listening to the body is best. Not eating doesn't always make the symptoms go away. A third thing that did not help me was drinking milk or trying to eat bland things to alleviate my reflux symptoms. And I've tried everything from the BRAT diet to eating only beige colored foods in an effort to just ease that burn. My advice is just eat what you feel like eating. Limiting yourself could lead to more confusions about reflux and possibly some nutritional deficiencies down the road. Using an elimination diet approach might help you find some culprits of your reflux, but really at what cost? I suggest using a food journal instead because it's less extreme. A fourth thing I found that did not fix my reflux was drinking tons of water. For me in college, throwing tons of water at a problem was just a go-to for any vocal ailment. When I felt a little tired, I would just drink a lot of water and hope it got better. Through my food diary, however, I found out that when I consumed tap water, even filtered tap water, I felt worse, not better. I suspect now that this issue might have been seasonal and regional in that situation, but I've also faced others like it where the tap water just didn't quite agree with me. A fifth thing that did not help me was honey, lemon, and cough drops. I know it might seem like it kind of coats your throat or that it's directly applied to your area of discomfort, but if it's on your vocals, cough drops and sweet stuff go down an entirely separate pipe. And while it may soothe your esophagus, the sugar and the menthol might contribute to dehydration, which will actually make your reflux problem worse. This has been my experience with acid reflux. If I can prevent even one other person from going through what I went through in college, I would really feel grateful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it educational. Please feel free to like and comment, and happy singing.